Third wave floundering. Heavy casualties, sir. Hello, General, sir. Are you all right, boys? Yes, sir. Frankie. Yeah. What happened? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Can you please shut it off and turn the lights on? Where's the start of the next scene? What? What? I can't hear you, Mr. Colson. Hey. Where is the next scene? What scene? The scene. Oh, yeah. Bossman asked me to cut it out. I left it on his desk. What? Bossman. It's just the name I gave him. When yes, I gave Frankie, him. I know who you're talking about. Uh, sorry about the mask. I'll clean up. It's fine. Are you sure, Mr. Cup? It... I can clean up right now. Colson, the answer was no, the answer is no, and the answer will forever be no. We are not, I am not going to put the entirety of this picture in jeopardy because of this one scene. A month. You've had a whole month. You've had a whole month to tell me this, and as soon as I practically finish editing, you want to rip the scene out. Sit down. You are my director. You are in my office, in my studio. So sit down and remember who it is you work for. Want any? No. <sighs> well, <clears throat> now apparently you like this scene in particular. I don't like it. It's needed. Uh, uh, uh. Remember what I just said about not forgetting your place? As I was saying, I do not believe there is an, any need for one scene to cause such a ruckus. Besides, there's too much violence and profanity in the film as it is. <gasps> too violent? Are you serious? It's what the people want now. Even after Peckinpah's new picture, you still think this is too violent? What? The Wild Bunch? I actually like that film. Listen, I'm gonna try and explain to you once more why the scene is so crucial to the rest of the story. Don't bother, kid. Let me tell you why I'm not taking any more chances on a novice 22-year-old director. I'm 25. Whose daddy practically begged and promised me that would you would be worth my time. Don't speak about my father. I made your father. He was who he was because of me. So I can speak however the hell I want. You know what? What? I... What are you going to do? Yes. Take... Eh, why not? Oh, let me get this out of the way. So look, I respect your father. He, I really do. He was a great look for the studio. And I guess because of that, I have to somewhat respect you too. So for the last time, respectfully, the answer is no. You want any? It's camel meal. It will calm you down. You're limiting my creativity. <laughs> Excuse me? I said, you're limiting my creativity.
Tivity. <laughs> Do you think they've ever done that to him? What? To Rembrandt. Do you think they've ever done that to Rembrandt? Do you think that if someone had limited Rembrandt's creativity, you would have that painting hanging on your wall? Get out. Huh? Get out! You know what? I'll take a whiskey right about now. Send it out now, as is. No more interference. I'll see you at the premiere. Now, Frankie, stitch it back, show me, send it out as final. Okay, ready?